I'm Jacob Henson, producer of Prime News at 7, and we're here at Ruby Falls Haunted Caverns to get a preview of what we can expect. Okay, so we're 260 feet below ground, and normally you'd step off the elevator, take a left, and go towards the Ruby Falls. Today we're taking a right to where the Haunted Caverns are. So the Haunted Caverns are popular every year, so expect a lot of people, expect lines, but don't expect to be bored because even when you're queued up, there's actors entertaining you, you know, getting people into the storyline that they've set up. So just to give you a taste of the storyline, a man discovered a machine that was used to pull in all the dark spirits in the world because they were taking over. And against his better judgment, his board of directors said, let's turn it on. They did, and all of those dark spirits got released again. So now you've got a war going on between multiple dark spirits while this company tries to contain them in the cavern. That is amazing. God! <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, now we're headed to the surface, to the madhouse, which is part two of this double feature. Now we're inside the Cerberus Maximum Security Detention Center where the most prolific mass murder in Tennessee history is about to be executed. Okay, I'm here with Tim and Todd. They're the minds behind Ruby Falls Haunted Caverns, and guys, what goes into making a place like this? It's a new storyline and theme every year, which also means new characters every year. We don't want anything getting stale for those patrons that come back to see us every year. So everything changes from the layout to the theme, the storyline and the characters. It's all new. Our goal is to entertain and scare them, and hopefully we've proven that. So even if they don't know the storyline, I believe they're going to walk out of here scared. So, and that's what most of them are coming to do. And you got that other 20% that, that read the storyline, know the characters. They'll even say the characters' names when they go through. So it is cool when we have those people do that. <laughs> I'm tired of that clown. Okay guys, we're done with our tour. We got scared multiple times in broad daylight. So coming here at night, you're not gonna have a problem getting scared. This is one of the scariest places you can come. This is like the luxury haunted house here in Chattanooga. It's gonna be opening tomorrow on Friday and Friday, Saturdays and Sundays all through October they'll be open and if you get here early enough you can see the freak parade. Every character that's in the Haunted Caverns is gonna be lined up outside for everyone to see so just get here early enough to see that. I highly recommend the Haunted Caverns. Everyone should come Friday, Saturdays and Sundays all through October.